Born in 1962, the actress entered the world of film at a young age, captivating audiences with her undeniable talent. She first gained recognition for her role in the 1976 film Taxi Driver, which earned her a nomination for an Academy Award. The actress continued to make her mark in the film industry, with notable performances in The Accused and The Silence of the Lambs, both of which earned her Academy Awards for Best Actress. Her portrayal of Clara Starling in The Silence of the Lambs became an iconic character in cinema history. In addition to her work in film, the actress has also made her mark on television, earning critical acclaim for her role in the Netflix series Black Mirror. She has also directed and produced films, showcasing her versatility in the industry. Throughout her career, the actress has been known for her ability to fully immerse herself in her roles, creating unforgettable characters that resonate with audiences. She has left an indelible mark on the film and television industry, inspiring aspiring actors and filmmakers alike. Jodie Foster is an accomplished actress who has been active in the film industry since she was a child. You might remember her from movies like The Accused or The Silence of the Lambs, for which she won Academy Awards. Do you have any interesting facts or stories about Jodie Foster that you'd like to share? When did you first become aware of her work? Many people have fond memories of watching Jodie Foster's movies and TV shows over the years. Perhaps you enjoyed seeing her on screen in a particular role, or maybe you were inspired by her accomplishments as an actress. We'd love to hear about your cherished memories or personal experiences related to Jodie Foster in the comments below. There are many surprising and fascinating stories about Jodie Foster's career, including some funny, shocking, and sad facts. So be sure to keep watching this video to learn more about this classic star. Born in 1962, the actress was raised in a family deeply connected to the entertainment industry. Her father, a former Air Force lieutenant, dabbled in acting and later became her first acting coach. Her mother, a talented film producer, encouraged her to pursue her passion for storytelling from an early age. The actress's brother, too, followed their parents' footsteps into the industry. Growing up in a creative environment, the actress was exposed to the world of film and television at a young age. Her early exposure to the craft came from watching classic films and attending movie premieres with her family. By the age of three, she had already made her acting debut in a Coppertone commercial. The actress's early years were marked by her roles in various television shows and movies. Her breakout role in the 1976 film Taxi Driver not only earned her critical acclaim, but also a nomination for an Academy Award. Despite her young age, she held her own alongside veteran actors, demonstrating her natural talent and dedication to the craft. Throughout her career, the actress has had several mentors who have influenced her path. Her mother, in particular, played a significant role in shaping her career. She taught her the importance of hard work, dedication, and staying true to oneself. The actress has also credited director Martin Scorsese for teaching her about the art of filmmaking and inspiring her to take on challenging roles. The actress's background, upbringing, and early exposure to the craft have all contributed to her success in the industry. Her natural talent, combined with her dedication and hard work, have earned her a place among the most respected and accomplished actors of her generation. The actress, known for her groundbreaking roles, significantly influenced the film industry during her era and beyond. She began her career as a child actor, appearing in commercials and television shows. Her breakout role in the 1976 film Taxi Driver catapulted her to stardom and earned her a nomination for an Academy Award. Throughout her career, the actress has consistently chosen challenging and diverse roles, showcasing her exceptional talent and versatility. She has played everything from a detective to a single mother, often taking on complex and nuanced characters. Her performances have captivated audiences and earned her critical acclaim. The actress has also made significant contributions to Hollywood behind the camera. She has directed and produced several films, showcasing her creativity and vision. Her directorial debut, Little Man Tate, received critical acclaim and demonstrated her ability to excel in multiple aspects of filmmaking. Furthermore, the actress has been a trailblazer for women in Hollywood. She has been a strong advocate for gender equality and has spoken out about the need for more opportunities for women in the industry. 
Her activism has helped pave the way for future generations of female filmmakers and actors. In addition to her contributions to the film industry, the actress has also been a respected and admired figure in the LGBTQ community. She has used her platform to raise awareness about LGBTQ issues and has been a role model for many. In conclusion, the actress's impact and influence on the film industry are undeniable. Her groundbreaking roles, contributions to Hollywood, and advocacy for gender equality and LGBTQ rights have left a lasting legacy. Her talent and versatility continue to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Even as a child, the actress displayed an innate curiosity and passion for storytelling. At the age of three, she first appeared on camera in a Coppertone commercial, sparking a lifelong love for the art of acting. By the time she was eight, she had already landed a role in a television pilot, igniting her career in the entertainment industry. Her passion for acting was further fueled during her time at Yale University. While studying literature, she realized that her true calling was not just to read great stories, but to bring them to life. She once said, I went to drama school to learn how to be real, to be authentic. And I've always felt that the greatest acting comes from a very real place. One pivotal experience that solidified her passion for acting was her role in the film Taxi Driver. At the tender age of 13, she delivered a powerful and critically acclaimed performance, earning her first Academy Award nomination. This early success only served to deepen her commitment to her craft. The actress's unwavering dedication to her art is evident in her impressive body of work, which spans over five decades and includes numerous iconic roles in both film and television. Her passion for storytelling has not only brought joy and inspiration to countless audiences, but has also left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. The actress has been consistently doubled by stuntwoman Jill Stokesbury in most of her films, with their collaboration beginning in Somersby. In the film Freaky Friday, while the actress did not perform her own water skiing, she did engage in playing field hockey. This acting career began when she was just three years old, with her starring in commercials. As for her role in Annabelle of Freaky Friday, the actress showcased her athletic abilities through field hockey, despite not performing the water skiing stunts herself. Her foray into the world of acting began at a very young age, with commercials being her first exposure to the industry. Despite facing numerous challenges early on, the actress displayed remarkable resilience and determination. Born into a family with financial struggles, the actress's mother, a single parent, worked tirelessly to support them. To help make ends meet, the young actress started working at a mere three years old, appearing in commercials. As the actress grew older, she faced skepticism from the industry. Despite her natural talent and undeniable charisma, many questioned her ability to handle more complex roles. However, the actress refused to let this discourage her. Instead, she used it as motivation to hone her craft and prove her doubters wrong. One of the actress's earliest challenges came when she landed a role in a major film at the age of 10. The studio executives were hesitant to cast such a young actress in a leading role, but the actress's talent and determination shone through. She worked tirelessly to prepare for the role, studying lines and practicing her delivery. Her hard work paid off, and she received critical acclaim for her performance. Throughout her career, the actress has continued to face obstacles and challenges. However, she has always found creative solutions to overcome them. When faced with industry skepticism, she has used it as an opportunity to push herself and prove her worth. When faced with financial struggles, she has worked tirelessly to support herself and her family. The actress's resilience and determination have made her one of the most respected and admired figures in the industry. Her ability to overcome obstacles and challenges has inspired countless others to do the same. Despite the hurdles she has faced, the actress has remained committed to her craft and her passion for storytelling. And in doing so, she has left an indelible mark on the world of film and television. In preparation for her role as Clara Starling in The Silence of the Lambs, the actress spent a significant amount of time with FBI agent Marianne Cross. Cross's insight into the emotional challenges of the job led to the creation of the scene where Clarice is seen crying by her car. This emotional release was a way for the character to cope with the overwhelming nature of the work. 
The actress was also considered for the role of Viola de Lesseps in Shakespeare in Love, but the part ultimately went to Gwyneth Paltrow. Despite not getting the role, the actress has had an impressive career in both film and television. In an interesting turn of events, the actress's sister, Connie Foster, served as her stand-in during the filming of Taxi Driver. This familial connection added an extra layer of meaning to the actress's portrayal of a character in the film. Throughout her career, the actress has shown her versatility and dedication to her craft. Her ability to bring complex characters to life has earned her critical acclaim and the admiration of audiences around the world. Whether she is playing a tough FBI agent or a vulnerable young woman, the actress always delivers a compelling performance. After the actress's debut as a child in the 1976 film, Taxi Driver, she quickly gained attention for her talent. However, it was her role in The Accused in 1988 that truly marked a turning point in her career. The actress's portrayal of a rape victim seeking justice was groundbreaking, earning her the Academy Award for Best Actress. This recognition established her as a serious and powerful actress in Hollywood. In 1991, the actress took on the challenging role of Clarice Starling in The Silence of the Lambs. The film became a cultural phenomenon, and the actress's performance was widely praised. Her ability to embody the character's vulnerability and strength left a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. The film's director, Jonathan Demme, noted, she has a rare combination of intelligence, empathy, and intensity that makes her a truly unique artist. The actress's work in The Silence of the Lambs not only earned her a second Academy Award, but also solidified her status as a leading actress in Hollywood. Her career continued to flourish, with notable roles in films such as Contact and Panic Room. In recent years, the actress has turned her attention to directing, with projects such as Money Monster and The Beaver. Her transition to directing has been met with critical acclaim, further demonstrating her versatility and talent in the industry. Throughout her career, the actress has consistently pushed boundaries and challenged herself with diverse and complex roles. Her contributions to the world of film have left an indelible mark, inspiring generations of actors and directors to come. The actress, known for her work in both film and television, was linked with Gina Scott in the mid-80s and Cynthia Mort in the late seasons. She has had a successful career, earning a spot on Empire Magazine's The Top 100 Movie Stars of All Time list, where she was ranked at number 18. Despite her success, the actress has been open about not enjoying all productions. She has expressed that she never liked the show All in the Family from the 1970s Zeti, stating that it seemed to be doing the same thing each week. This highlights her ability to be critical and discerning in her viewing habits, even as a successful actress herself. The actress, known for her intense preparation and thorough research, often immerses herself in the character's world before filming begins. She has been known to write detailed biographies for her characters, exploring their backgrounds, motivations, and relationships. This meticulous approach allows her to fully embody each role and deliver authentic and compelling performances. In her work, the actress often explores complex and multifaceted characters, unafraid to delve into their flaws and vulnerabilities. Her portrayals are marked by a deep emotional intelligence and a subtlety that allows the audience to connect with the character on a profound level. The actress's personal experiences and worldview are also reflected in her work. Having grown up in the public eye, she has a unique perspective on fame and privacy, which she often explores in her roles. She is also a strong advocate for social issues, including LGBTQ rights and women's empowerment and has used her platform to raise awareness and promote positive change. Despite her success, the actress remains humble and grounded, always striving to learn and grow as an artist. She has said that she sees each role as an opportunity to challenge herself and push her boundaries, resulting in a body of work that is diverse, thought-provoking, and deeply personal. At the tender age of 29, the actress became the second youngest person to win two Academy Awards following Louise Reiner by a mere year. Her first Oscar win came for her portrayal of Sarah Tobias in The Accused, a role she undertook at the age of 24 during filming in the spring of 1987. The actress's second Oscar win came for her performance in The Silence of the Lambs, 
which she filmed in the winter of 1989-90, when she was 26 years old and on the cusp of turning 27. The actress is also known for her close friendships with Mel Gibson, Jennifer Beals, and Jonathan Demme. In addition, she has an older sister born in 1955. Despite the demands of her career and personal life, the actress has managed to maintain strong bonds with her inner circle, including her sister and famous friends. These relationships have undoubtedly enriched her life and provided a source of support and inspiration throughout her career. The actress, known for her intense focus and dedication, has made significant contributions to the film industry. She started her career as a child actress, quickly gaining recognition for her talent. Her early roles in films like Taxi Driver showcased her ability to handle complex and challenging characters. In her later career, the actress took on various roles, demonstrating her versatility. She has played everything from a detective in The Silence of the Lambs, for which she won an Academy Award, to a single mother in The Brave One. Her performances are known for their emotional depth and authenticity. The actress is also known for her work behind the camera. She has directed films like Little Man Tate and Money Monster, showcasing her skill as a storyteller. Her directorial style is characterized by its empathy and intelligence, much like her acting. Industry experts and fellow actors often speak highly of the actress. Meryl Streep once said, she's a very brave and interesting actress. She's got a real originality and depth. This sentiment is echoed by many in the industry who admire her commitment to her craft and her ability to bring depth and complexity to her roles. The actress has also inspired many young actors. Emma Watson, who starred with the actress in The Silence of the Lambs, has spoken about how the actress's career has influenced her. Watson said, she's someone who's been able to have a long career and do different things. That's something I really admire. In conclusion, the actress's impact and influence on the film industry are undeniable. Her versatility, dedication, and talent have earned her respect and admiration from both industry experts and her peers. Her ability to bring depth and complexity to her roles and her work behind the camera have helped to shape the film industry and inspire future generations of actors and directors. After starring in the musical Tom Sawyer in 1973, the actress took on another musical role in Bugsy Malone as Tallulah. This film marked her second and final musical appearance where she showcased her singing skills. During her college years, the actress dated Tina Landau for about a year and a half. Their relationship was a significant one, but not much is known about it. In 1998, the actress gave birth to her first child, a son named Charles Foster, with her partner Sidney Bernard. At the age of 35, she became a mother marking a new chapter in her life. The actress Jodie Foster, known for her versatile roles in films like The Silence of the Lambs and Contact, values her privacy and maintains a low-key personal life. She is a proud mother of two sons, whom she has raised as a single parent. Family is important to her, and she often mentions her children as her greatest accomplishment. Foster's personal values and interests often inform her work. She is drawn to complex characters and thought-provoking narratives. Her directorial debut, Little Man Tate, explores the struggles of a child prodigy, reflecting her own experiences as a gifted child. Similarly, her role in The Brave One delves into themes of trauma and survival, which resonate with her advocacy for survivors of violence. The actress is also known for her philanthropic efforts. She has been a longtime supporter of various causes, including children's rights, education, and AIDS research. In 1992, she co-founded the Hasty Pudding Institute of 1770, which promotes arts and entertainment education. She has also been a vocal advocate for LGBTQ plus rights, delivering a powerful speech at the 2013 Golden Globe Awards in support of marriage equality. Foster's personal life and values have shaped her career and her contributions to society. Her commitment to family, her passion for complex storytelling, and her dedication to social causes all serve to make her a compelling and influential figure both on and off the screen. After reading Thomas Harris' novel, The Silence of the Lambs, actress Jodie Foster tried to purchase the film rights, only to find that Gene Hackman had already done so. 
Foster would eventually bring the character of Clara Starling to life on screen, earning her a second Best Actress Academy Award at the age of 29. This made her the second youngest person to achieve this feat behind Louise Reiner. Following her success in The Silence of the Lambs, the actress established her own production company, Egg Pictures, in 1992. However, she later decided to shut it down in late 2001 to focus on spending time with her children. In addition to her role in The Silence of the Lambs, the actress received her first Best Actress Academy Award for her performance in The Accused, which she filmed in the spring of 1987 at the age of 24. Therefore, by the time she began filming The Silence of the Lambs in the winter of 1989 to 1990, she was already an accomplished film star. The actress, known for her powerful performances, has left an indelible mark in the film industry. With two Academy Awards under her belt, she's proven her mettle as a formidable talent. Her work in The Silence of the Lambs and The Accused showcases her ability to embody complex characters with depth and nuance. As for her future contributions, the actress has hinted at exploring different avenues within the industry. She's expressed interest in directing and producing, showcasing her versatility beyond acting. When it comes to giving advice to aspiring professionals, she emphasizes the importance of hard work and perseverance. Never stop learning and growing, she says. Take risks and don't be afraid to fail. It's through failure that we often learn our most valuable lessons. She also stresses the significance of staying true to oneself and one's values. In this industry, it's easy to get caught up in the glitz and glamour, she admits. But always remember why you fell in love with the craft in the first place. Stay grounded and focused on your own creative journey. Finally, she encourages aspiring professionals to be patient and persistent. Success doesn't happen overnight, she says. It's a long and winding road filled with ups and downs. But if you stay committed and passionate, you'll find your place in this industry and leave your own unique mark. In 1998, the actress was honored with an asteroid named after her, 17744 Joda Foster, in recognition of her contributions to the film industry. A few years later, in 2006, she was invited as the commencement speaker at the University of Pennsylvania, where she was also presented with an honorary degree. This recognition was not a recent development, as the actress had already been identified as a promising new talent in 1976. In the screen world, Vol. 28, she was listed as one of the 12 promising new actors, highlighting her potential and talent in the industry. These accolades serve as a testament to the actress's long-standing career and her impact on the film industry. After debuting as a child actor, the actress's passion for storytelling led to a groundbreaking career spanning over five decades. From her early roles in The Silence of the Lambs and Taxi Driver to her directorial debut in Little Man Tate, she consistently pushed boundaries and showcased her innovation. Her unwavering dedication to her craft has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. The actress has not only excelled in front of the camera, but has also proven herself as a talented filmmaker. She has consistently chosen challenging and thought-provoking projects, reflecting her commitment to artistic excellence. Throughout her career, the actress has tackled complex and multifaceted roles, earning critical acclaim and the admiration of her peers. Her ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters has resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on the film industry. The actress's enduring impact is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her journey serves as a reminder that with passion and dedication, one can leave a lasting mark on the world. Her contributions to the entertainment industry will continue to inspire and captivate audiences for generations to come. In her autobiography, Shirley Jones shared her experiences working with various co-stars. While she didn't get along with Dick Clark or Ray Bolger, she enjoyed working with Jodie Foster. The cast of The Partridge Family had predicted that Farrah Fawcett would become a big star, and she did just that with Charlie's Angels two years later. In the film Freaky Friday, Jodie Foster played the role of Annabelle, which Deborah Winger had initially tried out for. However, Foster ultimately secured the part. One notable role that Jodie Foster turned down was Annie Reed in Sleepless in Seattle. The part eventually went to Meg Ryan. Despite this, Jodie Foster's career has been marked by many memorable performances and roles. In 1980, 
The actress declined the role of Angel Bright in Little Darlings, a decision that paved the way for Christy McNichol to take on the part. While filming Taxi Driver the same decade, the actress, playing the character Iris, had a career-defining experience. Robert De Niro, her co-star, played a significant role in shaping her approach to acting. De Niro's dedication to their craft led him to suggest regular coffee meetings and rehearsals at a local diner. At first, the actress found this routine monotonous. However, her perspective changed when De Niro started improvising lines during their rehearsals. By following his improvisation, she learned to build her character beyond the script's confines, mastering the art of character development. At the age of 12, the actress landed a role in the film Tom Sawyer, where she starred alongside two Oscar winners, Celeste Holm and Jodie Foster. This role helped establish her as a talented young actress in the industry. Due to her impressive performances as a child actor, she was ranked hash four in VH1's list of the 100 greatest kid stars. This recognition highlights her impact and success at a young age. One of her most notable roles was in the film, The Little Girl Who Lives Down the Lane, which was filmed during the summer and early fall of 1975 when she was just 12 turning 13. Her performance in this film earned her the Saturn Award for Best Actress in early 1978, making her the youngest actress to receive the award at the time. As of 2018, she still holds this record. This early success in her career set the stage for a successful career in the film industry, where she would go on to win two Academy Awards for her performances in The Accused and The Silence of the Lambs. Her talent and dedication to her craft have solidified her place as a respected and accomplished actress. In the film Taxi Driver, the actress, who played Iris, shared that Robert De Niro, who played Travis Bickle, frequently called her to suggest they meet for coffee. These meetings often turned into rehearsals of the diner scene, which they repeated so many times that the actress grew bored. Yet, De Niro insisted they continue to practice, highlighting his dedication to the craft. In The Silence of the Lambs, the actress, who portrayed Clara Starling, had a significant impact on the film's opening scene. Originally, the movie was set to begin with Clarice and a male FBI agent in the midst of a drug bust. However, the actress suggested changing the scene, arguing that it had been overdone in other films. She proposed opening with Clarice running through an assault course instead, an idea that Jonathan Demme embraced. The drug bust scene was still used, but it was moved to after Clarice's first conversation with Hannibal Lecter. The actress was also offered a role in me and Rutherford twice but declined both times, showcasing her ability to be selective in the roles she chooses to accept. This decision further underscores her commitment to her craft and her desire to take on challenging and meaningful projects. In Thelma and Louise, Callie Cowery had initially written the role of Thelma Dickinson with the actress in mind. However, the director, Ridley Scott, found her too young for the part which eventually went to Gina Davis. Later, the actress was considered for the role of Alma Cloyne in The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. Unfortunately, she was unavailable due to her filming commitments for Elysium, and Julian Moore took on the part. Interestingly, Moore replaced the actress as Clara Starling in the sequel to The Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal. In Freaky Friday, the actress portrayed Annabelle, and both she and Barbara Harris received Best Actress Musical or Comedy nominations at the 1977 Golden Globes for their performances. This made them the first pair of actors to be nominated for playing the same character in the same film. In the film Taxi Driver, the actress's portrayal of Iris was a significant one. Initially, she was the third choice for the role, but her powerful performance proved otherwise. Moving on to Freaky Friday, the actress showcased her singing talents in the opening credits song I'd Like to Be You for a Day, which was sung alongside Barbara Harris. In Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, the actress played Audrey, demonstrating her range and adaptability. Interestingly, Martin Scorsese, who directed Taxi Driver, had previously worked with her in this film. The actress's ability to work seamlessly with various directors and in diverse roles is a testament to her skills and professionalism. After being refused the opportunity to audition for the role of Amanda Wurlitzer in The Bad News Bears, Jodie Foster's career took off in other directions. 
in The Accused. She initially faced resistance from Paramount executives who didn't believe the film would succeed without a star attached. However, Kelly McGillie's involvement led to Foster being considered for the part of Sarah Tobias, a role she took on after extensive research at the FBI training facility in Quantico, Virginia, for her subsequent film, The Silence of the Lambs. Alongside Jonathan Demme, Scott Glenn, and other cast and crew members, Foster delved deep into the world of criminal profiling, firearms training, and classes at the FBI Academy. This immersive preparation allowed her to convincingly portray Clara Starling, a role that would ultimately earn her an Academy Award for Best Actress. Despite initial setbacks, Jodie Foster's dedication and commitment to her craft led to her rise as a prominent figure in the film industry. Initially mastering French, the actress showcased her linguistic skills early on by delivering her lines in French in Stop Calling Me Baby. At a young age, she also picked up Spanish, and by 18, she was fluent in Italian, adding to her language repertoire. Her dedication to authenticity extended to her role in Salmersby, where she learned to drive a horse pulled buckboard. Her portrayal of Talula and Bugsy Malone marked the first of two collaborations with British producer David Putnam, followed by Fox's, where she once again shared the screen with Scott Bayo. These roles not only highlighted her acting abilities, but also her commitment to embracing the full scope of her characters. The actress known for her privacy and avoiding social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter has had a remarkable career. One role she was considered for, but didn't get was Claire Standish in The Breakfast Club. However, she made a significant impact in the film Taxi Driver, where she played Iris. This film is particularly notable as it included three Oscar winners Robert De Niro, the actress herself, and Martin Scorsese, as well as two Oscar nominees, Albert Brooks and Harvey Keitel. It's clear that the actress's talent and dedication to her craft have left a lasting impression in the world of film. After appearing in Napoleon and Samantha alongside Johnny Whittaker, the actress took on the role of Becky Thatcher in Tom Sawyer. The following year, she was selected from a pool of 18,000 applicants, with 200 being auditioned for the part of Iris Steensma in Taxi Driver. Her unknown status was intentional, as screenwriter Paul Schrader desired a fresh face for the role. When it comes to her personal life, the actress owns two convertibles. The specific makes and models remain undisclosed, but her ownership of these vehicles showcases her appreciation for the open road and the freedom it brings. In both her professional and personal life, the actress demonstrates a knack for making unique and unexpected choices, further solidifying her status as a captivating figure in the world of film. Whether it's her selection of roles or her preference in vehicles, she continues to intrigue and delight audiences and onlookers alike. As one of the most talented actresses of her generation, her work has left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. With a career spanning over five decades, she has captivated audiences with her versatile performances. From her early role in the classic film Taxi Driver to her iconic performance in The Silence of the Lambs, she has consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances. Her work in television has been equally impressive, with standout roles in shows like The Crown and Black Mirror. Through these diverse roles, she has shown her ability to inhabit complex characters and bring them to life in a way that resonates with audiences. Beyond her acting, she has also directed and produced films showcasing her multifaceted talents and her impact on the industry. Her directorial debut, Little Man Tate, was a critical success and she has since directed several other films, including Money Monster and The Beaver. As we reflect on her impressive career, it's clear that her work has left a lasting legacy in the world of entertainment. Her ability to captivate audiences and bring complex characters to life has made her a beloved figure in the industry. So, what are your thoughts on the actress's work and legacy? Share them in the comments below and join the conversation about the creative spirits shaping entertainment. And don't forget to like and share this post to help spread the word about this talented actress. If you're not already a subscriber, consider hitting the subscribe button for more content celebrating the artists who have made a mark on the industry.